what does it really mean to follow God? What does it really mean to be his servant? Well, the evangelist, uh, Paul in the Bible, admittedly killed a lot of Christians and imprisoned a lot of Christians and uh, persecuted them of their faith before he got saved, obviously, right? And when he did get saved, Jesus Christ, the God of the Bible, encountered him and, and, and asked him, why have you persecuted me? As in him persecuting the uh, people... Uh, the people that that had faith in him, confessing Christians. Because if you if you condemn condemn someone of their faith, of whatever it is, or or no, if you condemn a Christian, right, and and you're attacking them for believing in Jesus, you're really just attacking Jesus spiritually. Like you're not you're not truly hurting that person. You're not truly attacking that person. He was, um, Paul was really attacking God, Jesus, right? And after that, he replied, who are you? Who are you, Lord? He said, he, and, and then uh, Jesus replied, I'm Jesus Christ, the one you have persecuted. And Paul was a murderer and he was completely against God. He had no faith in him whatsoever. And if God can use a person like that to to do his will, a person who used to be a murderer, a person who used to imprison other Christians, then he can use you. He can use the person that, that's watching behind the screen right now. He can use you for miraculous things. And I feel sorry for the for all the people the, some people that I know who have turned away from their faith, who don't truly believe in God, wh whether they're, they've been Christians turned to atheists, whether they're Christians but are lukewarm. And I'll get into what lukewarm means in a second. I feel, I feel sorry for them because they've been taught this false doctrine of, of religion rather than relationship. The relationship being um, with the with the most high, the most high God, Jesus Christ. A lot of people have been taught to follow this religion, to follow the commandments, which is good in a sense, but that makes them think that their works save them, which is completely false. Their, your works don't save you, but you are saved to do good works. And it has never said in the Bible that, that you are saved by your works. But what you are saved by is the, the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. He died on the first day and, he, and he, resurrect, he was resurrected on the third day. And in John 3.16, it says that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him, in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. And this is where I'm going to get into, into the, the lukewarm doctrine of Christianity, which is a false doctrine of Christianity. What it means to be lukewarm. What I mean by lukewarm is people that are confessing Christians that, that say because Jesus died for them, that means that they get to live any kind of way that they want. And that's the, that's the kind of idea that they get from the Bible somehow. But, and I've, I've, been, I've fallen into this false doctrine myself. But I'm very glad that I came out of it recently. That I, uh, the idea that once you're, that that once once you're saved, then you're always saved. The Bible, um, the Bible never says, and Jesus never says that 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 once you're saved, that that you don't have the free will to to like turn away from Him. But that's not the truth. You, you will always have the free will to turn away from God and to disobey Him. And that's why. I just feel so sorry for those people because because they never tr truly got to see um, the miraculous signs and the wonders of of God and they never and they never truly see God working in their life because they've been taught this false doctrine. Yes, Jesus died for you and 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 he will forgive you if you ask for forgiveness, but that does not give you any legal right to to go back to living the way that you used to before. Because when you're born again, you are a new creature. 
You now have the desire to follow God. You now have the desire to, to obey Him. But you don't, you, you don't truly love God if you don't obey His commandments. And that's just the truth. If you don't, if you don't obey what God wants you to do, what He has, um, what He, what He wants for you, it, it's just like, you know, if you're if you're a father and you don't want your child to do something, in which they might harm themselves, in which the, they, which might make their life worse for them, right? It's not that that they're trying to to limit their son or trying to, you know, judge them in any way. They just want. They just want what's best for their child. Just like, you know, the the greatest father of all time, which is God, right? He doesn't want his children to, to fall back into sin. Because he loves you so much. That's why he gave us the Ten Commandments. To show us that, that we're imperfect beings. That that we will we will never hold up to that standard. But... We can always try our best to, to follow the commandments. And he has asked us to do so. So our, our good works don't save us. But we are saved to do good works. We are saved to follow Jesus. And to l- let him transform our hearts and, and our lives to be the, the way that he wants our lives to be. Because his plan for, God's plan for us will bring us to a much better place in our lives than any plan that our parents give us than any, than any plans that our um that our friends give us any plans that that we ourselves want for us want for ourselves because god knows a god the god of the bible and who is still alive today the god of the bible who is still working everywhere who is everywhere working and transforming people's lives is still working today and is still moving everywhere but we we've, we've been taught that isn't the case so i just want to encourage those that have fallen away that have fallen away from their faith because of whatever it, it might be they've just lost their faith i just hope that those people that have been taught this false doctrine and that still believe it to this day the false doctrine of once saved, always saved, and 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 the doctrine of um, living however you want. I just I just hope that you guys will soften your hearts to the gospel and 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 truly get to know who Jesus Christ is at, as a, as a person. Because if you continue to harden your hearts to the gospel and just follow what you've learned from from teachers, from parents, rather than what the Bible teaches, then you will you'll you'll never learn the truth. Because the truth is, we all fall short of the glory of God. We all we all have lived in our sin, and we all uh, will sin till the end of time, till um, till the day that we die. But we have to try our best to 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 follow his commandments and to and, and to live a Christ-like life rather than living this lukewarm Christian life where there's where you never see God moving anywhere even in churches i have never like rarely ever seen God move in, in these like in these like churches like today, like in these churches that are like around my area and just churches I've been to, I've never seen God move in the way that, that, that you read about in the Bible. Like, like, but what you do hear about is the testimonies in which God has transformed people's lives. But, but, but you never see miracles happen that the way that they that they used to you never you never see demons being cast out and i just want to let you guys know that those things still happen today god still moves the same way that he did 2023 years ago 
when when Jesus was crucified. He still moves in that ex exact same way. He still casts out demons. We still have the authority over demons as Christians. We still ha have the authority over evil spirits through the power of Jesus Christ. We have to let God transform us to be, to be the way that we, the way that He wants, the way that He wants us to be. I promise you, if you if you let go of the things that the world that this world offers, if you if you let go of of the things that have been binding you down and bringing you down for so long, if you will just let that go, forgive that person that has hurt you in the past, you will see God move in your life. You will see um, miracles happen. Your faith in God will go from, from a zero to a 100. Seeing and accepting that these things are real. Spiritual warfare is real guys spiritual warfare is real and we have to step up our game and not and not be lukewarm in our faith anymore guys come on we can do this we can let go of the things that have been we can let go of the uh, of the things that this world offers technology the things that prevent us from getting closer to god we can let go of these things or even better we can we can use them for god's glory we can we can use our phones for God's glory rather than um, rather than listening to what the world says that we should do. And we got to pray, guys. We got to pray for the revival of people, for the renewal of people, for, for the people that they will be reborn and, and that they will truly receive the salvation that God has promised in the Bible. I have received the salvation. And that is the reason why I'm testifying to you guys today i have received the forgiveness of sins and i truly have a desire to follow god even though i mess up just like just like everyone i mess up but i strive to be like jesus i strive to be an evangelist like jesus and i'm i'm, I'm not gonna let i'm not gonna let whatever this world is gonna throw at us whatever whatever the devil is gonna throw at us to stop me from for being on fire for god i'm not gonna let these things stop me from being on fire for God. I'm just going to pray for all the people that are watching right now. And then then I will then I will end the video cuz I, I don't That's all I have to say. Lord, our Father in heaven, Lord. I just pray that the person behind the screen, all the people behind the screen that are watching right now that they would be filled with the holy spirit that they would that they would be brought out of this this idea that they can live with however they want that they can that they can just keep falling into sin or if they're they're not believers at all that they would that you would encounter them and that you would fill them with the holy spirit that they would be that you would, I would pray that I pray that you would reveal yourself to them, and and I pray that their hearts w would be softened rather than hardened to the gospel, and I pray that they would that they would be brought to the truth, that they would, and I pray that that there would be that they would be born again, a new creature in Christ. And Lord, I pray that I pray that you would, I pray that you would forgive them for everything. That they've done against your name, every sin that they've done, that they've committed um, against against you, that they would that they would be forgiven, and, and that and that they they would be brought to the cross, that they would be uh, brought to Christ, and that and that they would be they would be shown the everlasting love that you have for them, for for every person of the world, Lord, and and that and that they would not be tempted by any unclean spirits but 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 rather would be delivered from them in Jesus name amen